Hey, I'm Ray. I'm an animal care specialist here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. Today I'm here to talk to you about schooling fish and its behavior. We refer to fish that are swimming together in close proximity as a school of fish. It's very similar to a swarm of bees, a pod of dolphins, a raft of otters. So it's just a way for us humans to describe the behavior of all these fish swimming together. There needs to at least be a few fish to form a school. More likely there's hundreds if not thousands upon thousands of fish. We refer to much, much larger schools of fish, sometimes as shoals of fish. These shoals of fish could be seven to 10 kilometers long, eight to 10 kilometers wide. There doesn't seem to be a leader when it comes to a school of fish. It seems as if one kind of gently goes one way and then before you know it, they all in mass go in a general direction. Many species of fish tend to school together, so then they have each other. If they're out in the endless oceans, there's no rocks or kelp to hide behind. All they have is each other. And so if they can stick together, whether they're sparsely distributed or very tightly packed, they have a higher success of staying alive. Sometimes as the fish school together so closely, it kind of leads to their detriment. What this could form is a bait ball. And this allows predators, such as hammerhead sharks, sometimes to get an easy snack. Some fish seem to school together to help them and each other find the food that's in the water. If one of them smells it and is onto it, the rest of them can kind of follow along. If you'd like to see schooling fish behavior firsthand, come on down to the Monterey Bay Aquarium. We have many exhibits with them, from anchovies to sardines or tuna. I hope you learned something new about schooling fish. If you have any more questions, check out the link below. We'll see you later.